Now we are going to program the code and the remote control for Hive 1 S100 BRM. The initial must code of this lock is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the initial code to open door is 1, 2, 3. We can input 1, 2, 3 and press pound key to open door directly. Okay, press pound key for 2 seconds to lock the door. The code 123 will automatically become invalid when we change the master code. Okay, now let's change the master code. The command to change the master code is 4. Input initial master code. Then press pound key. Input 4, then pound key. Now input new master code. Press pound key. Input the new master code again. Then press pound key. Okay, now the master code has been changed to 888, 888. And the code 123 shall be invalid. Let's try. Invalid now. Now let's add a code user. The command to, change, uh, to add a code user is 1. Input master code. Then press pound K. Input one. Then pound K. Now input a new a new code. Press pound K. Input the code again. Press pound K. Okay. I just added a code user. The code is six 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 six. Press asterisk key to exit. Now let's try the code. Okay. Work it now. Now let's try to do it again and add another code user. Okay, I just add another code user. 2222. Two, two, two. Let's try it. Okay, worked. Now let's try to add a remote control control user. First of all, we need to install a button cell for, rem for the remote controller. We need a CR2032 button cell for the remote control. The command to add a remote control is 5. Input master code. Then press pound key. Input 5. Then press pound key. Now press the unlock button on remote control. Uh, if you want to add another remote control, just press the, un uh, press the unlock button on that remote control at the same time. Okay, we just added two remote controls. Let's try. Press asterisk key to exit. Now let's try remote control. Okay, worked. Press lock button to lock the door. Oh, okay, let's try this one. Okay, both worked. If you want to delete a user code, the command is 2. Input master code. Then press pound key. Input two. Then pound key. Now input the code you want to you want to delete. Press pound key. Okay, the code two 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 is now invalid. Now let's check. Invalid now. If you want you want to delete all the user codes, the command is three. Input master master code. Press pound key. Input 3, press pound K. Now input the master code again. Press pound K. Okay, now all the codes have been deleted. Let's try the code 6666 uh, six, 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 I previously said. Okay, invalid now. If you want to delete uh, all the remote controls, the command is 6. Input master code. 
press pound k, input 6, press pound k, now input the master code again, press pound k, okay, now let's try remote control, done to work now. If you want to initialize the log, there are two ways of initialize the log. The first one is by keypad. Input the current master code. Then press pound key. Press zero. Then pound key. Input the current master code again. Pound key. You will hear four beeps if the operation is successful. The other, uh, another way is, is initial it by remove one battery. First of all, you need to move the back panel from door. Keep the data line connected to the back panel. Now put the batteries back. Touch the front panel to let it work. Now remove one one battery and then put it then put it back. You will hear a beep. After you hear the beep, turn the LR switch to opposite side and then turn it back. Now let's try. Put it back. Hear a beep. Now turn the LR switch to opposite side and then turn it back. We just hear four beeps. It means the operation is successful. Now the code has the mask code has been reset to one, two, three, four, five, six. And the initial code has been recovered to one, two, three to open the door. Now let's install the back panel back to the door. Now let's try the code one two three. Okay, worked. The lock has been initialized successfully. If you don't want to press pound key to lock the door, we can set auto lock. Input master code. Then press pound key. Input eight. Then pound key. Now input the auto lock time. I just set 20 seconds, then press pound key. You can set 20 to, two, uh, to 999 seconds. Default is five, uh, 5 minutes. Now let's try the auto log. Wait for 20 seconds.
Okay, auto lock successful. If you want to cancel auto lock, the command is 9. Input the master code. Then press pound K. Input 9. Then pound K. Okay, auto lock is now invalid. It want auto lock. You need to press pound K to lock it. To lock it again. If you continue to input the wrong code for three times, the lock will block itself for 30 minutes. Oh no, for 30 seconds. Wrong code one. Wrong code twice. Okay, wrong code again. It will alarm. You need to wait for 30 seconds. But the remote control is still, va is, is still valid. You can use the remote control to open the door if you want, or just wait for 30 seconds. And here is another function of this lock. When you, sometimes when you are operating the lock, there are people around you and you don't want to let them know your code. So you can input many digits to, uh, in front of your code to confuse them. Such as input many digits, then input your code, then press pound key. This will protect your code.